definitely feel that things are changing. It's warm, it's breezy out there, and we're going to see the humidity kind of increase through the day today, too. And this is all in advance of that threat for severe thunderstorms as we head into Saturday. Much of the area is still under that enhanced risk, meaning numerous severe thunderstorms are expected across our area for Saturday, including the potential for several damage wind reports, wind damage reports, I should say, and also a few tornadoes. Uh, in addition to that, some localized flash flooding will be possible too as some of the heavier rain rolls in, but we're looking at maybe about an inch to two inches of rain with this event tomorrow. Let's talk about the timing, kind of break it down as much as we can here for our western counties on Saturday. We expect the severe weather threat to start no earlier than 10 a.m., maybe closer to 11 or noon for our far western counties, and then ending by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That means the damaging wind threat and the tornado threat will be over with by then, and that does include places like Hackleburg and then down toward Carbon Hill and Nauvoo and Samantha Northport and down into to uh, uh, Green and Hale County for our friends there. And then we transition to the I-65 corridor. So places like Summit and uh, also down through Aniana and uh, Warrior, Gardendale, South Vinemont, to Pelham, Alabaster, Brent, and Centerville, Woodstock, those areas and down toward Verbena and Cooper, Maplesville. Uh, we're looking at a timeline between noon and 5 o'clock for that threat for damaging winds and also the potential for a few tornadoes. And then once we head between about 2 o'clock in the afternoon through about 7 o'clock in the evening, that's when we expect these counties and these areas to kind of be under the gun as far as uh, the threat for damaging wind gusts and also the potential for a few tornadoes. So Childersburg and Sylacauga, Kellyton, Rockford over toward Eclectic and then up through Delta, uh, Piedmont, Jacksonville and then up near Center, Rock Run, kind of the Weiss Lake area as well. The future cast through the day today does show a few spotty showers around. Once we head into this afternoon, we may see it get a little bit heavier with some of these showers, especially in the western counties. But today is going to be a cloudy. It's going to be a breezy day and then we'll follow that uh, squall line of severe storms from Mississippi daybreak tomorrow morning from west to east across central Alabama. And again, the squall line will carry with it a damaging wind threat, a few embedded tornadoes, and there'll also be the possibility that maybe a couple of supercells develop out ahead of the line, which would carry an enhanced tornado risk with it as well. So the bottom line is we've got those severe storms on Saturday. They move out with drier weather on Sunday, but then the rain comes right back in here, Brittany, as we head into early next week. Steph, thank you so much. Uh, we will certainly be keeping an eye on that as we are.